Hi, in this video we are going to have a look at the changes in Guns of Glory version 3.4 that was just uh, released uh, for people also playing King of Avalon. It's kind of a mix of uh, changes introduced in King of Avalon 5.8 and 5.9. Uh, the, yeah, there's one major new event that's going to be a recurring event that's introduced with the Kingdom Arms race or the Kingdom Tourney in King of Avalon. It's actually quite a nice event. I can't really show you it yet because it only starts at uh, July 8th. But it, um, yeah, the idea is that as a an alliance of uh, as a kingdom, you work, um, you compete against other kingdoms, but it's all. Um, yeah, not on an uh, inviting basis, uh, so you can select uh, quests, there are a number of quests available in uh, different uh, grades, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 stars, and uh, yeah, the higher uh, the star, the more difficult they are and the more rewards you get, and um, yeah, the, the quest can be anything from killing um, beasts uh, or uh, rallying red guards, um, gathering resources, increasing your true power, uh, donating uh, resources, which means just giving it away to the kingdom so you just lose it. Um, but yeah, if you have plenty of resources and you like the rewards, you can get, um, they are quite, uh, quite nice. And rewards, they are mostly ingredients to improve your account improve so for example the gemstone oh no not gemstone as i believe but air part materials uh, is uh, is something and um, yeah there are all kind of different uh, rewards that uh, help you uh, increase your uh, different aspects of your account so it's quite useful not everybody likes it uh, in king of avalon but i find it quite uh, yeah quite an easy way to get some extra uh, ingredients that I can use to directly improve my uh, my stats. Um, the whole concept of uh, kingdom versus kingdom not directly that impressive, I would say. Maybe that's also because I'm in quite an inactive kingdom in uh, in King of Avalon, and we always uh, end up uh, in the last spot with this event. But anyway, it is it is quite nice, and definitely you should have a look at it when uh, when it opens up. And um, you can do a maximum number of quests each uh, each day, I believe uh, five. And it's as I said, it's just an easy way for everybody to get some extra rewards and help improve your uh, your account. And it's recurring; it uh, it it goes on for a certain time, like uh, uh, what seems like a week, and then maybe it's a week is gone, and then it starts uh, starts again. So definitely interesting. So another. Um, change is the a new airship parts let's look at the parts showcase so we have new titanium airship parts with three different levels um, and compared to the previous uh, platinum ones which maxed out at 120 for the troop uh, type specific ones boosts and 40% uh, for the general troop boosts they can now go up to 243 and 81 so more than doubling the the totals so that is quite uh, yeah quite significant and considering you can get two of each the the difference is quite uh, quite high for definitely for the for the big spenders uh, probably a reason to try to max these out as soon as possible uh, related to that, the airship expedition uh, chapter uh, has been added. Uh, two chapters has been added to the airship royal expedition, which is chapter 19 and 20. That to reflect that you can now get more boosts in that area. So if you do spend money, then you can get some extra rewards there. Um, for the rest, uh, the changes, um, the rewards of the general events have changed. So for the Musketeers Fort, the Night Siege, the New World, the Kingdom uh, Kingdom Arms range as well, actually. The rewards you can 
uh, no, sorry, MX setup uh, for the night seats and the new world, they have changed. Uh, and the UAC can already show, so now there are no longer the recruitment banners, but the uh, artisan materials are there as well to improve the coat of arms. Um, so there are the the a new reward for the kingdom fret uh, that you get some fragments that allow you to summon some of the set with Mademoiselle Maupin, Oliver Cromwell and Thomas Blood and in the trade station the weight of the guards have been changed I'm not really oh sorry I'm looking at something I'm not really completely sure how they were so have a look at that I'm normally always uh, uh, transferring the recruitment banner not going for individual uh, guards but it seems to have changed so probably improved but I'm I'm not really sure anymore how it exactly uh, changed but if you are looking at uh, transferring guards from your farm accounts or other accounts then uh, that, that might be of interest uh, to you. Um, just to yeah, I think this was already it. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's it for the uh, for the changes in Guns of Glory 3.4. If you see anything else that has changed, or if you have any questions about this, please uh, feel free to ask or comment. That's always much. Appreciate it and thanks for watching this video.